All too often when we see something like this, we associate it with a very bad job by a bad pruner. In this case, I'm also going to associate it with a very bad tool. My name is Blair Glenn. I am an ISA certified arborist. On one of my walks at a city which will remain nameless, I visited a park and all of the trees in an area were pruned so poorly that I had to take photos. Every single one of the cuts was disturbing. What was interesting is that none of these cuts were much more than about 12 or 15 feet above the ground. They could have all easily been done either with a chainsaw or a handsaw in a manner that would have been appropriate. You can probably guess which tool was used for this, but the haphazardness of the cuts and the random destruction on all of these trees has me just, oh, just furious. There's absolutely no excuse for this type of work. The tool that was used is a chainsaw that has a pole and a power head on the other end. It's a long tool and theoretically it's to reach higher branches and it seems to make sense but it just doesn't work. The damage that occurs by an inexperienced worker with this tool is obvious but even an experienced worker who has good knowledge of how to use a chainsaw has a hard time managing this awkward unwieldy long pole with a chainsaw tip that goes wherever it wants to go. The money saved by this city in buying this tool is so greatly overshadowed by the loss in value of their trees in this particular park. And these photos that I'm showing you, they aren't in just one or two trees. They're all the way along the parking area. Every tree that was easy to access someone went along and just wailed on these trees. And this is this is a tool, I, I'm not going to mention any names, but there's more than one manufacturer now that is becoming more and more common. And I'm seeing that more of the cities are buying this tool because they believe it's going to save them money. This stupidity has got to stop. You cannot put a tool in the hands of anybody, even an experienced person, that is not going to work correctly and hope that they're going to do a good job. Attaching a chainsaw tip to the end of a long pole, in my opinion, does not make sense. And the proof is in these photographs. Thanks for taking the time to view this brief presentation. Once again, my name is Blair Glenn. I'm an ISA certified arborist.